One of the coolest things about putting ideas out here on YouTube is the positive feedback and suggestions I get from all of you. Well, most of you. In my last video, I had the bright idea of using a Sharpie to draw a line on the tabletop in line with the blade so that hopefully I had a permanent line that I could register from where the blade will exit the material when I use the miter gauge. The downside is the Sharpie can just wipe right off the table. Some of you guys suggested that because the tabletop is probably waxed, which it is, the ink probably won't be able to stick properly. And some others suggested using more of an industrial grade permanent marker, which I don't have on hand, or as I even suggested in the video, using a paint marker. The one tip that stuck out unanimously was just to scribe a line right on the tabletop itself and then backfill it if necessary. I would just like to say that when you have a $5,000 table saw router setup, permanently etching a line into the tabletop is just sort of something that slips your mind. But I do also think it's a perfect solution, so that's exactly what I did, and I figured I'd make one more video just for those that are wondering about how to do it for themselves. Now, there's more than one way to do things, of course, but here's what I did. I cut a fairly wide piece of plywood at 90 degrees, turned the saw off, and then slid the whole thing back to register where the leftmost side of the blade was. I would just like to point out that this was also a viewer suggestion. While holding that piece perfectly in place, I secured a steel rule to the table right up against the plywood with double side tape. Then using a marking knife, I could carefully start scribing the line right up against the rule. Once I had the line scribed, I removed the rule, used a Sharpie to make the line just a little darker, and then got rid of the excess marker with some adhesive remover. One thing that I saw from people who had commented and said that they'd done this before is that they scribed a line on both sides of the blade. I personally only want my line on the left-hand side because no matter the width of my blade, that left-hand side is never going to change. So whether I use a thin kerf, a full kerf, or even a dado stack, the left side is always going to stay in that same location. One other thing that was mentioned, which I actually filmed originally and then cut out of the video completely, was to use a sacrificial fence. Simply cut a saw kerf in a sacrificial fence and then align your material up with that fresh saw kerf. This does the same thing as scribing a line on the tabletop and also gives you tarot support where the blade exits the material. So I think I've posted a video like three days in a row now, so I know there's probably some of you that are really tired of hearing from me, but this was just something that was too helpful to pass up on. Thanks so much to every one of you who take the time to actually watch my videos and to all of you who took the time to suggest what I should do here at the table saw. That's all I got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching as always. I'll see you in the next video.